Hello everyone, I'm Hiro. This time, I want to introduce about filter. Actually, I saw one of the photographer from Instagram. He is a Korean photographer, but his photo is really, really mysterious. It's kind of really interesting because I can see so many crossing, uh, shiny shape in the picture. I was like, how he did it? I mean, how he made it? I saw, first time I saw it's like Photoshop, but I find out it's because of this. This filter is called cross, I mean V cross filter. And then this filter is coming from Nishi. The name is called MC V cross frame 4X to 8X. And I'm using Tamron lens, so using 67 millimeters diameter. Oh. Oops. I'm using 67 uh, millimeter diameter. Uh, millimeter diameter, yes. Yeah, um, uh, because of this filter, we can create some that kind of crossing, like shiny, emotionally, like a cinematic feeling. Also, I saw one of the video from the YouTube, but then maybe they are using this filter as well. I don't know, like same brand or something, but at least can make kind of similar stuff. It looks really, really cool. And then this time I went to Shanghai to test out this filter. And then one of the model helped me. Her name is called Kuku. She's a professional Chinese model in Shanghai, and then she's really great. By the way, yeah, uh, the overall the photo video looks really cool. So yeah, I'm not gonna explain too much. Just please watch the videos. Welcome back! How's the video? Yeah, actually this filter like have some pros and cons. Personally, for the good part is this filter is really nice for using like landscape or shooting some like a building or snapshot or some kind of stuff. But this filter is not really good on portrait personally because I'm the person I like to shoot the model like really close distance but if the model is close distance, that means it's like uh, the, my focus on her face, not on the background. Which is uh, this kind of crossing in shape, it getting like bokeh, like couldn't see really clearly. Just like regular photos, it turned to be just regular photos. But if you put the model like a little bit far away, kind of like make the same distance with the background, then it will show up like a shiny looks. It looks really great. But like for video side, I think if you guys shooting for the cinematic video or whatever video, it looks great because for normally, uh, except like we shooting the like a uh, human detail, we all shooting the lights to be honest. So this is really 
good on it. Also, like for the video, normally we shoot the people like kind of a little bit far away, have some distance, so it also can catch the lights. So this filter, it works pretty interesting. I will keep in that, and I will keep play around this one. So thank you guys for watching this video and if you guys have any question or like this video please leave some comment and then please subscribe my channel and also follow my Instagram account. And then yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time.